Do you want to suture like a plastic surgeon? Let me show you how. So first you need to load your needle. So get your needle holder, your forceps, and then grab the needle somewhere between the upper third and the middle third of the needle. So somewhere around here either straight or make it angled towards the outside a little bit then lock your needle holder identify the cut that you're trying to suture go at a 90 degree angle like this not like this around half a centimeter from the incision that you're trying to suture get in and then pronate your wrist and come out around the same distance that you got in so if you got in at a half a centimeter come out at half a centimeter and then push the needle in you can pull it out either with the needle holder or with the forceps pull out without putting all the suture out and then tie your suture you can start the first throw as a surgeon knot so you do uh, wrap it around the needle holder two times then you pull then one time and then one final time so three total and then you can pull it up and cut the suture around the centimeter from the edge of the wound and that's it so today I'm going to show you how to do the deep dermal suture, which is very commonly used suture. So you load your needle depending on how big of a bite you want. If you have a bigger bite, you load it further away from the tip. If you have a smaller bite, you load it closer to the tip. I usually load it at more than 90 degree angle because that will allow me to place the needle easier. You start by lifting the edge of the skin. Make sure you don't crush the skin when doing that. And then you go deep to superficial. Again, deep to superficial, merely grabbing dermis. Don't grab fat or don't go through the skin just dermis and then you pull and load your needle and now we're gonna go superficial to deep make sure you take the same exact thickness that you took on the other side so if you came very superficial you need to start very superficial and you exit also at the same thickness that you entered to explain here let's imagine these are the edges of the skin that you're trying to suture so you go deep to superficial and then you go superficial to deep and how I exit here at the same level I enter here if you start start like this and then do this this will distort your closure so make sure this thickness is equal to this thickness and make sure you don't go through the skin and now you can tie the suture and cut the suture very close to the knot and that's how you do the deep dermal suture so to do a horizontal mattress you need to go in then come out like a simple suture and then you go back in and out and tie on this side and the benefit of the horizontal mattress is that it provides better aversion the edges of the skin would come out more which helps in better healing start by loading the needle between the upper and the middle third go in at a 90 degree angle around half a centimeter from the edge of the wound and then come out around half a centimeter from the wound then you pull reload your needle but now you're gonna do it backhanded because you're going in the opposite way again similar like we did before between the upper and the middle third and now you're gonna come this way so you came like this and now you're gonna go the opposite way around half a centimeter or a centimeter from where you exited so around here half a centimeter from the edge of the wound you go back in at a 90 degree angle and you go also around half a centimeter from the edge of the opposite side and come out so you see now I'm gonna leave the tail slightly longer now so you can see we came from here to here then we jumped this distance and we came back in and out so now when I pull the suture you can tie these two together now one two and three and then you cut and that's the horizontal mattress now let me show you how to do the vertical mattress you load the needle like before between the upper third and the middle third and now we're gonna go in far and come out far and then go back in close and come out close on the other side where you enter and exit will depend on how much inversion you want let's say you want to start at around one centimeter here so you start around here at 90 degree angle like before you supinate your wrist you come out at around the same distance that you entered now you need to pull the needle so you pull it and then you have to do it the other way because now you need to backhand it. So you hold the needle around the same distance between the upper and the middle third, but now you're going this way instead of coming that way. So you pull and you enter around half a centimeter from the edge of the skin. Remember you enter far, far, and now you need to go in closer and then come out closer. So if we enter at one centimeter, we need to go here around half a centimeter. So if we enter at half, we exit at half here and then we pull the needle out and tie our suture
and we cut the suture and that's the vertical mattress. I'm gonna show you here how to do the running subcuticular suture. After you tie your knot and hide it below the surface of the skin, you hold and lift the skin beyond where you wanna come out. So let's say you wanna come in here and come out here. So you hold the skin beyond that point. When you go in, try to have a wide angle, more than 90 degrees, lift up the skin and then go in the dermis, not the fat, not the skin, in the level of the dermis and then stay parallel to the skin. So you see how I'm staying in the same level and then you come out. You load your needle with a little bit of wide angle and then you pull and now you want to go to the other side. Again, do the same thing. Go in, out, stay parallel to the skin and lift the skin first beyond where you want to come out. So where do you come in on this side? Exactly where you came out or slightly behind that. So if you came out on this level, so you can see this point correspond to this point here. So you can come slightly behind that and then you go in parallel to the skin and then come out. Make sure you stay parallel, the same thickness, pull and you keep doing that until you reach the end of the incision. Imagine this is our incision. This is one side and this is the other. So you tie your knot somewhere around here and then you start running like this. You come out, you come slightly behind, you come out back and forth until you reach the end of your incision. Make sure that this is parallel to the surface of the skin without going through the skin and make sure that this is equal to this. This is equal to this. So you don't go deeper in the skin on one side and more superficial on the other. Make sure the bite that you're taking is equal on both sides.